Attempt number two. <clears throat> Hey, I'm Larry, and this is my application for culinary school. Ever since I was a little kid, I loved experimenting in the kitchen. I loved throwing random ingredients together and seeing what worked out. And well, I still do that to this day. It's my way of expressing myself and showing love to the people around me, which is why I would love to turn this hobby into a serious career. My signature dish is a chicken vindaloo burrito. It's sort of an Indian-Mexican fusion cuisine, if you can call it that. I love Indian food and I love Mexican food, so I thought to combine the two, and I think it worked out really well, because that's something that I eat almost every single week. So, if you accept me to your school, I promise to... Oh, fuck. Let's try that again. Hey mom, hey. I uh, hope I'm not disturbing. Okay, great. Yeah, I was just wondering since it's uh, been a while, maybe I could come over today. I've missed it too. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry for not calling all that often. It's just I've been busy with school and stuff. Yeah, school's fine. School's fine. Could be better, but you know, I'm, I'm getting by. Okay. Uh, so, uh, four o'clock today. Does that sound good? Okay, great. Yeah, I'll see you soon, mom. So basically in school there's this assignment where everyone in my class has to prepare a meal for this food critic and uh, if he likes it then he should do wonders for our careers. That's great, I bet you're excited. Uh, well yeah, but also pretty nervous. Uh, do you have any idea who I'm cooking for? I have no idea. Frederick Bock. Wow, that's a huge opportunity. I'm wishing you all the best of luck, I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you, thanks. Come in. Hey Larry, I made this cream cheese baguette with apple and honey for you. I was wondering if you'd like to try it out. Sure. Cream cheese baguette with apple and honey. Mm hmm Sounds very good. Mm. It's very interesting. I love how the slightly acidic apple cuts through the richness of the cheese. This is very good. Good Thanks. job. Good job, Oliver. Thanks. You up for a game of Uno? A game of Uno? Mm hmm if you're ready to lose again, then I guess I am ready. Remind me, brother. What happened last time? Last time you got lucky. That's what happened. Sure, that's what happened. You know, I couldn't help but overhear the conversation you had with your mother earlier. Is it true? Is it true that I'm cooking for Frederick Bock? Uh, yes, it's, it's true. Wow. Well... Wow. You know. I don't know already. Yeah, it's a bit stressful, but, you know, it should be a good experience. What do you think you're gonna make? I haven't quite decided, but I've heard that he likes pasta ravioli, so perhaps that could be a good option. Are you serious? Everyone's going to make pasta ravioli. Good game. Be original, man. Do something you want to make. Remember that chocolate raspberry pizza you made when you were younger? Well, they will never shut up about it. That was pretty good, but I made that for you and mom, so there's a difference between that and Frederick Bock, the, one of the greatest food critics out there. How about another game?
hey Oliver, uh, I was just wondering if you're free today, then uh, I'd love for you to come over. I'm actually working on something, trying to figure out what I'm going to make for Frederick Bock, and I could really use your help. So, yeah, get back to me when you can. Uh, bye. Hey, Oliver. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, I've been brainstorming all day, uh, trying to think of some recipes that I enjoy making and that I could potentially make for Frederick Bock. Uh, and here's a list. You can feel free and take a read. French onion soup, lamb burrito, veggie stew, sushi. You know, these are all good options. But what kind of dish are you trying to make in particular? Um, I was thinking maybe something a bit refreshing, but with uh, some spice to it. I feel like that's where I thrive the most. I'm just trying to figure out yeah. what I'm going to do. In that case, maybe we should just combine two random numbers. I guess that's a good idea. Two random numbers. Yeah. yeah. Can be, uh, three and four. Three and four. Pineapple burgers and fried halloumi with honey. That could work, actually. That could work. <laughs> Wait, uh, a burger with... A halloumi burger with honey and, and pineapple. Maybe. That could actually work. And maybe some like sweet potato wedges yeah. on the side with uh, parmesan and a, a spicy lime sauce or something. Yeah, and some hot honey drizzle on top of those. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's, actually, that's actually smart. Yeah. Let's make a sip. That's actually a good idea. That could really work. Yeah. Would you like some spaghetti with cocktail meatballs today? The fridge is looking pretty empty. Yeah, sure, sounds good. How about a movie before that? A movie? Yeah. Sure, I haven't watched a movie in ages, but yeah, that should be fun. You found anything yet? Not yet. Okay, uh, pick anything you want and I'll make some popcorn. I got some movie ideas myself. You want to hear them? Yes. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Bok. Right this way. Take your seats, Mr. Bok. I have prepared a fried halloumi hamburger with uh, hot honey and pineapple, served with sweet potato wedges and spicy lime sauce. I hope you enjoy. Was it your liking? Well, uh, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed your meal. And, uh, it was an honor meeting you, Frederick Book. Uh, goodbye.